when they found out super size versus super skinny wasn't direct combat. <laughs> I spent the whole program shouting, go on, eat her! <laughs> One thing you should know about me is that I like to take things literally. I'm a thief. <laughs> um, what did one sexist door Say to the other, bloody women. <laughs> or also, I'm a door. <laughs> um, like, like a lot of people, I hate public transport because public transport combines two of the worst things in the world. You know, the public and being close to the public. <laughs> And you know, I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a nice guy, you know, I, I don't listen to loud music or talk on my phone. I, I even give up my seat to people who need it more than me on the train. And yet, despite that, people always take issue with my canoe. <laughs> now, I think we've all got the right to carry a canoe with us on a train, you know. people have, fought and died in wars for that right. If it wasn't for those brave souls, we'd all be speaking German. And the German for canoe is Das Canoe. But you know, I, I don't understand their problem, you know. I love canoes, me. Can't get enough of canoes. If you said to me, Ben, you have to choose between a life without sex or a life without canoes, my only question would be, does sex with canoes count? <laughs> I love canoes, me. Can't get enough of canoes. Hey, canoeing, mind. <laughs> canoeing to me just seems like a waste of perfectly good canoes. And, and you know, if I was canoeing on trains, maybe I'd understand their problem. But I'm not. I'm simply placing my canoe in the aisle and sitting in, right? Grace, I'm not doing anything weird. It's not, it's not like I'm forcing them to sit in the canoe with me and address me as captain. I'm just inviting them to do that. It's their choice. Now, I don't come with a canoe with me tonight because I'm not legally allowed to carry canoes anymore because of what the media have now dubbed the Heathrow Security Canoe Mishap Incident. The HSCMI, the Huskney, if you will. And I mean, I'm not allowed to tell you much about the Huskney because unfortunately most of the details are classified. But I have been given permission to read the following admittedly heavily edited uh, statement. Um, just for reference, when it says kayak, it means canoe. And when it says idiot, it means me. At 1342 on blank, the idiot with the kayak entered blank. Whilst blanking, the idiot proceeded to check in shortly before blanking his kayak in blank. He then climbed into his kayak in a blanking manner before shouting, I am blank, lord of all blanks. <laughs> Security were called, at which point the idiots changed tactics, blanking his blank until it blanked, blank blank, six nearby children. <laughs> After being restrained by security, the idiots allowed his kayak to be blanked, before attempting a blanker manoeuvre, I should point out that's not an edit, I did try and fight them off in a manner similar to Blanker from Street Fighter. <laughs> Finally, he blanked in blank blank until he blanked and agreed to pay compensation of 200 pounds. I mean, and because of that one little slip up at an international airport, I'm not allowed canoes, kayaks or any similar uh, flotation device on a train. You know, I've, I've taken up yachting on buses, but it's, it's just not the same. Um, I, recently, uh, I recently did uh, an interview for a newspaper, and they said, can you give us a, a short, succinct description of yourself? And I said, anorexic, clinically depressed comedian. And they were like, oh, that's a bit negative. I was like, you could abbreviate it to ACDC. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing says rock and roll quite like several mental health problems. <laughs> um, one thing you should know about me also is that I'm a geek. Um, 
I'm a proper geek, I'm a, I'm a die hard geek, you know, I'm not one of these normals who's pretending to be a geek, I'm a proper one, you know. My firstborn child, regardless of gender, will be christened Pikachu. You know, <laughs> that's gonna happen. Uh, does anyone in here have a tattoo? Yeah. Anyone? What, yeah. what, what's your tattoo of, sir? So uh, what was the first bit? Oh, so it's, it's a, a, a band and a dragonfly. So that's, that's quite cool. Like, because if I ever get a tattoo, it's going to be across my chest, depicting Mario evolving over 25 years. <laughs> uh, it would be great if I just ripped my shirt open and it was there, but uh, I'm not that committed. Uh, this shirt's new. Um, <laughs> Uh, well, one, one thing that's popular amongst a lot of girls at the moment is I Heart Geeks t-shirts and I always just think, no you don't. <laughs> you don't heart geeks. No, no girl in the history of the world has ever gone, my boyfriend's great, if only he was uglier and had no social skills. <laughs>